Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise and this is the continuation video of transportation model. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to solve unbalanced transportation problem by using VAM method, that is Ogle's approximation method. Now, let's see the problem. See the problem. Find the initial basic feasible solution to the following transportation problem by using VAM, that is Ogle's approximation method. Okay. So, here they have given one cost matrix along with the demand and supply. Okay. Before you solve the problem by using any method, first step is we need to check whether the problem is balanced or unbalanced. So, balanced means the demand and supply will be equal. Okay. If demand and supply is not equal means then it is called unbalanced transportation problem. Okay. So, this problem is unbalanced transportation problem. Why? Because here just check the supply total and demand total. Supply total is 90. Now check the demand total 18 plus 25 plus 22. What is the total? 65. Okay. So this one is 90 and demand total is 65. So this one is unbalanced. What is the first step? We need to convert unbalanced into balanced transportation problem. For that we need to add either dummy column or dummy row according to the problem. In this problem, supply is more than demand. So that we need to add one extra dummy column in order to make it as balanced transportation problem. Now let's see the solution. See the solution here. Supply total is 90 whereas demand total is 65. Okay. What is the difference? 25 is difference, right? So enter 25 here. Okay. For dummy column, the cost will be 0. So, assign 0 and now it will become balanced transportation problem. Okay. So, after converting unbalanced into balance, now we can follow the simple procedure in order to apply Ogle's approximation method. Okay. See, for Ogle's approximation method, the first step is we need to find row difference and column difference. Okay. For that, for each and every row, we need to find least value and the next least value difference. Okay. In the first row, the least value is 0. Next least value 1. What is the difference between these two values? 1. So, this is called row difference. For the first row, 1. In the same way, second row, 0 and the next least value 3. What is the difference? 3. In the next row, least value 0, next least value 2. Difference? 2. Okay, next row, 0, 7. Difference, 7. In the same way, we need to find column difference. Okay, for each and every column. Look at the first column. The least value is 3. Next least value, 4. Difference, 1. Second column, 1, 2. Difference, 1. Next column, 6, 7. Difference, 1. Next column, 0 only, no. So, 0. Okay, so after finding row difference and column difference for each and every row and each and every column, now we need to select the highest penalty. So, these are the figures are called penalties. Okay, so among these penalties, we need to find the highest one. So, which is the highest value? 7 is the highest value. So, this particular 7 represents this particular row. So, we need to select least cost in that particular row. Okay. So, this 7 represent this particular row. Okay. So, which is the least value in this particular row? 0. Okay. Now, I am going to allocate this particular cell. Okay. By comparing demand and supply and I am going to allocate the least one. Okay. So, just compare the demand and supply 25, 20. Which one is least? 20 is the least. Okay. So, assign 20 here. This will become 0 and this will become 5. Okay. So, this particular row will get cancelled because of 0. Again, we need to do the same procedure. In the first row, the least value 0, 1, difference 1. Second row, 0, 3, difference 3. Third row, 0, 2, difference 2. Last row, nil. Okay, for column difference, the least value 3, 4, difference 1. Second column, 1. 2, difference 1, third column, 
6, 7. Difference 1, last one 0. Okay. Now, after finding the row difference and column difference, we need to select the highest penalty. Okay. Which is the highest penalty? 3 is the highest penalty. Okay. So, select this particular 3 and this 3 represent this particular row. Now, we need to select the least cost in this particular row. So, 0 is the least cost. Okay. Now, I am going to allocate this particular cell by comparing demand and supply. So, demand 5, supply 25. Which one is least? 5 is the least value. So, assign 5 here, balance 20 and here 0. So, this particular column will get cancelled because of 0. Again, we need to do the same procedure. Okay, finding row difference and column difference. See the first row, least value 1, next least value 5, difference 4. Second row, least value 3, next 6, difference 3. Next, 2, 4, difference 2. Last row, nil. In the same way, column 3, 4, difference 1, 1, 2, difference 1. 6, 7, difference 1, last column, dash. Okay. Now, find out the highest penalty. 4 is the highest penalty. Okay. So, I am going to allocate one particular cell from this particular row. Which one is least? 1 is the least value. So, I am going to allocate this particular cell by comparing demand and supply. So, demand is 25, supply 15. Which one is least? 15 is the least value. So, allocate 15 here and here it will become 0. And here you will be having 10 balance. Now this particular row will get cancelled. Again we have to find out the row difference and column difference. First row nil. Second row least value 3. Next value 6 difference 3. Okay. So next row 2, 4 difference 2. Next row nil. The same way column difference. 3, 4 difference 1. 2, 9, difference 7, 6, 7, difference 1. Okay, now which one is highest penalty? 7 is the highest penalty. Okay, so I am going to select this particular column. The least one is 2 is the least value. Okay, now I am going to allocate this particular cell by comparing demand and supply. 30, 10. Which one is least? 10 is the least value. So assign 10 here. It will become 0 and here you will be getting 20 balance. Okay. So, this particular column will get cancelled. Okay. Okay. Find out row difference and column difference. Say first row nil. Second row 3, 6. Difference 3. Next row 4, 7. Difference 3. Last row nil. In the same way column difference 3, 4. Difference 1. Second column nil, third column 6, 7, difference 1, last column nil. Okay, so after finding the row difference and column difference, we need to select the highest penalty. So which is the highest value? 3, but it occurs in two different places. Okay, this is called tie. So in case of tie, okay, there is a procedure. Let's see the procedure first. See, these are the three procedures, okay, in case of tie. Okay, so there are three possibilities are there. The first possibility is in case of tie among the highest penalties, select the row or column having minimum cost. Okay, so let me explain this particular case along with the solution. See the solution according to the first possibility here, the highest penalty occurs in two different places. Okay, so we need to select any one according to the first rule. What is the rule? We need to select the row or column which is having minimum cost. Suppose if I select this particular 3 means, okay, I have to select least cost in the particular row. So, which one is least cost here? 3 or 6? 3, okay. Suppose if I select this particular 3, I need to select least cost in this particular row. So, which is the least value 4 or 7? 4 is the least. Now, out of these two least values, which one is least? 3 is the least value. So, I have to select this particular 3 in order to allocate this particular value, this particular cell. Okay. See the procedure. In case of tie, among the highest penalties, 
select the row or column having minimum cost this is what we applied in the solution okay see the other two possibilities the second one is in case of tie even in the minimum cost okay select the cell which can have maximum allocation okay this is the second procedure and the third one is in case of tie even in the maximum allocation also okay in that case select the cell randomly for allocation so these are the three possibilities are there in case of tie accordingly we need to follow the procedures okay now let's see the solution see the solution according to the rule that is a tie rule i have selected this particular three so in this particular row we need to select the least cost which one is least three or six three okay i am going to allocate this particular cell by comparing demand and supply 20 18 which one is least 18 is least so 18 here and this will become zero and here you will be having two as balancing figure now this particular column will get cancelled after doing this we cannot find row difference because in the second row we have only one value in the third row again we have only one value so we cannot find any row difference but we can do the column difference for only one particular column so here you can stop doing row difference and column difference instead of that you can apply the least cell method that is least cost method so out of these two figures which one is least six is the least value so you can select this particular cell in order to allocate the lesser value so i'm going to allocate this particular cell by comparing demand and supply so demand 22 supply 2 so 2 is the least value allocate here this will become 0 and here you will be having 20 okay now this particular row will get cancelled now we have only one particular cell so you will be having equal demand and supply see demand 20 as well as supply also 20 since it is a balanced one you will be having equal demand and supply for the last cell so allocate 20 this will become 0, this will become 0 and this particular cell also will get cancelled. That's all. Now you can find out the total transportation cost by simply multiplying the cost with the allocated value. Okay. So the first one 15 into 1. Next 18 into 3. Next 2 into 6. Then 5 into 0. Next 10 into 2. Then 20 into 7. Then 20 into 0. 140 and 0. What is the total? Rupees 241. This is the total transportation cost according to Ogle's approximation method okay so this is the way to solve unbalanced transportation problem by using VAM method hope you understand this concept please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you